Welcome back, Tech Sky enthusiasts. Brandon here, your guide in the ever evolving world of ethical hacking. In today's session, we're diving deep into the archives to revisit a significant chapter in the history of network security, wired equivalent privacy, or as it's commonly known, WEP. We'll unravel its intricacies, explore its vulnerabilities, and understand why it's become a cautionary tale in the realm of encryption protocols. Introduction to WEP Wired Equivalent Privacy stands as a historical testament to the early attempts at securing wireless networks. Introduced as an encryption protocol, it played a pivotal role in the evolution of wireless communication. It operates on the RC4 encryption algorithm, a stream cipher celebrated for its simplicity. It is aimed to fortify the confidentiality of data transmitted between routers and clients. While WEP's adoption marked a significant stride in wireless security, its vulnerabilities have become apparent over time. As we delve into the annals of encryption history, it's essential to understand the strengths and weaknesses that WEP brought to the forefront of wireless networking. Encryption process. Picture this intricate ballet of data security, the router, like a diligent guardian, adorns each outgoing packet with a cloak of encryption, a digital veil that conceals the contents within. This cryptographic transformation, executed through the RC4 encryption algorithm, is the router's way of safeguarding sensitive information from the prying eyes of potential eavesdroppers. As these encrypted packets pirouette through the airwaves, they carry within them a secret that only the designated client can unveil. Armed with the shared decryption key, the client gracefully catches each packet and performs a mesmerizing reverse dance. In this delicate choreography, the once encoded data is revealed in its original form, accessible and intelligible only to those with the key, a secret handshake in the digital realm. Yet, in this mesmerizing dance of secrecy, vulnerabilities can emerge as missteps in the choreography. The RC4 encryption algorithm, once celebrated for its simplicity, has shown signs of wear over time. Cracks in the cryptographic dance floor have been discovered, creating potential entry points for those with malicious intent. As we unravel the nuances of this encryption tango, we'll delve into the vulnerabilities that have surfaced, prompting the evolution of wireless security beyond the age of WEP. Unique Key Stream and Initialization Vector Enter the secret sauce of WEP's encryption magic, the initialization vector. Think of it as a unique identifier, a 24-bit random number that adds an alluring twist to the cryptographic dance. This seemingly random sequence injects variability into the encryption process, ensuring that each packet's keystream takes on a distinctive form, akin to a snowflake in a digital blizzard. In essence, the IV contributes to the complexity of the encryption, making it challenging for potential eavesdroppers to predict the keystream's pattern. This element of unpredictability is crucial in fortifying the security of WEP encrypted communications. The dynamic nature of the IV enriches the cryptographic landscape, making it a vital component in the quest for secure wireless communication. However, even in this dance of encryption prowess, a gap in WEP's armor appears, IV, although essential to its cryptographic function, is paradoxically exposed. Each packet, wrapped in a cloak of encryption, carries its own unique IV in clear plain text. It's an interesting paradox where a factor designed to enhance security becomes a threat when exposed to all. Vulnerabilities and Statistical Attacks Now, let's unveil the Achilles heel that haunts WEP's encrypted dance floor, the limited 24-bit initialization vector. Picture a bustling network, a digital metropolis filled with data traffic, where the IVs, though intended to be unique snowflakes, find themselves caught in the whirlwind of repetition. In the midst of high-traffic scenarios, the confined space of 24 bits becomes a crowded realm, leading to an inevitable occurrence, the repetition of IVs. This seemingly innocuous repetition transforms into a vulnerability, akin to a repeated note in a symphony, creating a pattern that keen observers can exploit. Herein lies the gateway to statistical attacks. Imagine an adept attacker, armed with the right tools and a keen analytical eye, observing the network's ballet of repeated IVs. Like a code-breaking maestro, the attacker discerns patterns within the seemingly chaotic dance. These discernible patterns become the breadcrumbs leading to the coveted encryption key, unraveling the once-secure cloak that WEP draped over its data. 
In this digital cat and mouse game, the limitations of the 24-bit IV expose WEP to a sophisticated form of attack. Exploring Network Security with Aircracking Aircracking play a crucial role in identifying and addressing vulnerabilities within wireless networks. Aircracking, often hailed as a valuable asset in the Ethical Hackers Toolkit, acts as a digital investigator, carefully examining the weaknesses present in WEP's cryptographic framework. In the realm of ethical cybersecurity practices, aircracking focuses on understanding the intricacies of initialization vectors to enhance network security. Instead of exploiting vulnerabilities, the tool collects data on repeated IVs as a part of a comprehensive analysis, mirroring the meticulous work of a detective solving a complex case. Aircracking utilizes its analytical capabilities to interpret patterns within the seemingly chaotic IVs, with the ultimate goal of strengthening network security. By highlighting the vulnerabilities of WEP, the intention is not to compromise security but to emphasize the importance of securing networks against potential threats. This process serves as a reminder of the ongoing effort to enhance digital security. As ethical hackers uncover weaknesses in outdated systems, the emphasis shifts towards reinforcing networks against potential breaches. The evolution to more robust encryption methods, such as WPA and WPA2, reflects the continuous commitment to learning from past vulnerabilities and creating resilient defenses against unauthorized access. Closing Thoughts As we wrap up this exploration into WEP's vulnerabilities, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, and share your thoughts. I'm Brandon, your guide on this fascinating odyssey through ethical hacking. Until our next expedition into the realms of cybersecurity, stay curious, stay secure.